Hello and welcome to Money Life News and Views. I am Devashish Basu. On 19 December, the Market Regulator Securities and Exchange Board of India issued a consultation paper on what is called retail algos or retail algo trading and asked for the feedback from market participants. Algorithms or algos are preset buy sell rule based decisions which are coded into software programs and these programs when deployed through brokers by, us by using what are called application uh, programming interface or APIs can act on their own that is they keep executing the trades on their own uh, according to the signals that are generated as per the rules. Algo trading has been allowed in India for a very long time for almost a decade but that was limited to only institutional participants. Now as India went into a lockdown in 2020 and work from home also allowed trading from home in a major way, millions of new investors in, and that is retail traders have jumped into uh, the business of stock trading. Within that there has been an explosive growth of the of what is called the algorithm based trading by used by many tech savvy and new limited traders algos are uh, very very popular all over the world in the us as well uh, a large part of the trading is now done by algos in fact the latest blog of catherine uh, woods uh, uh, who runs a 50 billion dollar uh, fund uh, called arc invest asks whether algos are increasing the inflation fears leading to recent market decline according to her by some estimates algorithmic trading accounts for roughly 70 percent of all trading in the us and even higher percentage during periods of extreme volatility in india encouraged by the fact that algo trading can generate much larger volumes since trading is not limited by uh, a trader having to be present in front of the screen or having to you know give orders on the phone the system can fire many trades per hour if they are using algos so brokers are hugely supportive of retail algo trading they are offering their own algos as well as what are called third party algos that to the clients retail algos are however unregulated today and the question is should they be regulated and if so how now there is a very very tiny very small number maybe a few thousand or even less than that of traders who actually can code themselves they are programmers as well as traders so they can write their own algos but the vast majority of people 99.999 percent of people actually buy off-the-shelf algos from hundreds of algo creators in fact to match these that is algo creators and the buyers who will then deploy it for the trading large marketplaces have sprung up something like trade front for example now some of these algo creators are even claiming absolutely eye-popping returns here is just one example from trade Tron, a large marketplace this the promotion for this algo says this strategy is meant for some small investor who's looking for high income capital requirement is only 30,000. You can easily make an average of 125,000 to 150,000 on a monthly basis. That is 300 to 400% return per month. This is being openly advertised and there's nobody regulating this. Now, as in any marketplace, in the algo marketplace too, you can have a wide variety of choices. I've just given only one example by applying different sorts of filters you can choose a strategy for stocks that is for arbitrage bearish position bullish position breakout buy and hold intraday trades or whatever you can use dozen of different ones for options long or short gammas long volatility spreads spend theta etc strategies can be deployed in stock currency commodity markets cryptocurrencies as well as in the us market nasdaq you can go for a fixed fee or a profit sharing arrangement all of these possibilities are available in a marketplace now anyone familiar with indian market regulation can quickly see how many things are wrong over here one the entirely illegal nature of these operations these are all buy sell recommendations by one algo creator to many traders so they should immediately come under 
one of the two SEBI regulations that is one that covers investment advisors or one that covers research analysts. Now almost no algo writer is registered with SEBI. Two, the second big problem here is to neither RA or, I, or IAs that is research analysts or investment advisors are allowed to share profits which algo writers are openly doing. Three, algo APIs are allowing anyone to act as a portfolio manager. Now that there is a separate regulation for, for PMS. Since the client login details are available on the algo platform provider, they are automatically executing trades on behalf and managing money on behalf of the uh, of the large number of traders to whom they're selling the algos now this is surely illegal but a page a web page in tradetron is titled realize your dream of being a pms provider openly without registering for pms and yet sebi is still debating how and uh, in what manner to regulate this now sebi has actually taken the stance until july this year that retail algos, despite all these claims, retail algos don't need to be regulated. Even though not being registered as RA or IA, they are illegally giving buy-sell recommendations. After a couple of media articles highlighted that uh, how this illegality is going on uh, and how SEBI was actually ignoring industry whistleblowers seeking regulatory clarity and not acting against those making wild claims and algos that could potentially aid market manipulation the regulator began to work on a framework of regulation and then started informal discussions with the industry the the recent discussion or the consultation paper of sebi is a product of that is a part of the same process it has sought to make brokers responsible for a variety of processes now this is perfectly all right because SEBI has to regulate a small number of existing regulated entity and brokers are the best place because you cannot trade without having going through brokers and brokers should be the gateway for all kinds of trading including algo trading so SEBI has suggested that broke <coughs> sorry so SEBI has suggested that brokers have to run the algos on their own servers ensure that trades from apis have i have unique id so they can identify that these are algo trades ensure the suitability of the product for clients and be responsible for margins and also redress uh, redress uh, redress grievances of the investors brokers also have to take approval for each algo from the exchange and get get them certified by tech auditors having got them certified then the brokers have to ensure that somebody doesn't start tweaking it post approval stage and also sign individual agreements with third party algo vendors and ensure they meet the exchanges advertising norms and all this talk, talk that we're talking about is does not meet the advertising norms however in this ma mass of procedures the SEBI paper sidesteps the main issue with the retail algos today, the way we see it, which is that they are illegally offering investment advice. All the paper says is there is there needs to be a clarity on whether the services on whether mark those words on whether the services offered by third party algo providers vendors are in the nature of investment advisory services. It's an open buy sell recommendation. I don't know why there is a confusion why this is this is still not clear why they are not investment advisory services it goes on to say that since there is what you call limited understanding of the uh, in respect of the nature of services provided by algo providers brokers may obtain from their clients details of the nature and type of services taken from the algo providers along with the confirmation as to whether the services are in the nature of investment advisory services now mark these words SEBI can't determine whether these are investment advisory. It's not clear to them that whether these are investment, investment advice services or not. So they are asking brokers, no, they are not asking brokers to tell them whether these are investment advisory services or not. They are asking brokers to ask their clients whether these are investment advisory services or not. What are clients, how are clients supposed to determine whether these are investment, investment advisory services or not? It's for the it's for the SEBI, it's for the market regulator to decide and take action. Say yes, then get them to register. Say no, then it's fine. Let them do what they want to. But SEBI is asking the brokers to ask the clients who are supposed to exercise the judgment and tell the broker 
that yes these are investment advisory services or no they are not now a cursory look at the algo creators will show that the very purpose of algos the only purpose of algos in fact is to offer buy sell recommendations often marketed by wild claims it's illegal to offer recommendations we all know that without being registered as an ia or ra some claim to run even portfolio management services and i said that tradetron is asking algo uh, writers realize your dream of running a pms now sebi should have started by asking all algo writers to be registered with it because this is an open and shut case according to me instead it wants merely wants brokers to ask their clients whether they're getting investment advice from algo writers the illegality the core illegality of algo retail algo operations is simply ignored and we are discussing a whole lot of procedures thanks for watching and if you like this please to subscribe <music>